Attention in the dorm, man. Attention in the dorm. Check this out. I want everybody to hear this shit. Listen up. For this video here, I'm going to be letting y'all know what it's like when someone that's unaffiliated does a base check when they're locked up inside a prison. Ha <laughs> ha, dawn the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want, nigga, yeah, I'm a pro Fuck around, I bust your lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lacks on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing Step two, cause violent, first steps, finessing You a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be speaking on when a person that is not in a gang decides to base check the dorm. I'm going to let y'all know what base check means. It's when you basically get everybody's attention. What you were announcing and what you were saying is to everybody inside the quad, inside the dorm, wherever you're housed at, any of that. Okay, and a lot of times fights break out inside of prison when people base check. It might not even have nothing to do with the person that, you know, is hearing it. But at the same time, if it's disrespect thrown, if there's no address put on it directly at somebody, then that shit can mean it goes towards anybody. It could be for anyone. So if someone's in the dorm and they're talking out loud and they're saying attention in the dorm, check this out. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care who you are, blah, 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 blah. You feel me? If you're someone that isn't cool with that individual, you're going to feel like he's directing it at you. Because if there isn't an address put on it, you know, you could get the wrong, you know, feel of someone saying something. You could feel like, man, they're directing that shit at me. You feel me? I got to say something. And a lot of fights break out. I seen fights break out inside of prison when people just was like, man, you ain't finna be checking me, bro. You ain't finna be checking me over this shit. I ain't these other people, bro. Everything you saying right now, boy, you better put an address on it. That's why a lot of times when I was in my juvenile program is when people first started base checking. And everything that we would yell in the background, and it's kind of like putting our, you know, nose in the business, being nosy and kind of making their problem our problem, is we would yell, put an address on it. Put an address on it. So if you're walking around the dorm and you're saying something, man, attention in the dorm, blase, squase, and then I'm sitting over there, we'll put an address on it. That's basically saying, say who it is you're referring to. If it's me, say it's me. If it's not, put an address on it. It ain't respected until that shit's direct. You feel me? So a lot of times when we would say, put an address on it, you know, you seeing us saying that to you kind of feels like we're telling you like, oh, you won't say it's us. And then a lot of time, oh, man, so what you saying? What you feel some type of And then, oh, yeah, da, 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 come on. And then next thing you know, everybody take their shirt off and start bumping and fighting. All because we didn't like that they were base checking the dorm. Now, inside of prison, you got people that do it. It happens almost every day, you know. But when you're not affiliated, you know, you would think off rip. Boy, your ass is in that water, boy, because you're trying everybody. But, you know, it's kind of like when you get... You know, let's let's use rappers, for instance. You know when a, a rapper makes a rap song and they start saying they're the best, they're better than everybody, F everybody else and stuff like that when they're rapping? The people they're cool with don't feel offended. You understand? They, they, they seclude themselves from, you know, the bars that the person's saying. Just like when an inmate base checks inside of prison. If I stand up and I'm unaffiliated and I'm in a dorm with 90 people, but out of 90 people, there's only like six or seven of them that don't like me. When I stand up and I start base checking, talking about attention in the dorm, anybody that came near my bunk, boy, I catch you near my shit, I'm going to knock your ass straight out. You come near my bunk, bitch, I'm going to hit you so hard you ain't finna wake up till December. If I say something like that out loud in the dorm, them 80-something, 90, you know, people who I'm cool with, they're not going to feel no type of way. They're just going to be like, look at Frog, bitch, Frog, shout out. You feel me? Look at Frog. You know, they're going to laugh about the situation. They're not going to feel like I'm trying them if they're really my dog. You feel me? If someone feels insulted when you do a base check, then they were your friend before, then they weren't really your friend. There's got to be some type of guilty conscience for them to feel some type of way. If something of yours came up missing or stolen and you base check and one of your homeboys are the ones that stand up and say something when you base checking, then that ain't your homeboy. You got to check who your dogs are. You feel me? Because not everybody's your friend that claims to be your friend. I'm going to let y'all know a time where the first time that I had to base check in prison. All right. I told this story a long time ago. All right. For people who've been here, you might remember this, but I got in a fight in prison. 
My, my main first fight in prison was over Gucci Man and Young Jeezy, okay? And I said this multiple times. I took the fade over Gucci Man, and Gucci Man don't even know K-Frog exists. But I got in a fight over Gucci Man and Young Jeezy, okay? Now, while I was fighting, I had a brand new MP. Brand new MP4, cost like 100 bucks. The shit uh, was on my bunk, literally. It wasn't even programmed yet. There was no music on it or anything like that. While in the middle of me fighting, you know what I'm saying? I fought this dude named Gator. You feel me? He was from Indian Town, which is down here in Florida. While me and Gator were fighting, um, after the fight, my MP's missing on my bed. Brand new, fresh out the box, shit's just sitting there, couldn't even do nothing with it. Once it was sitting there, I was already pissed off. My adrenaline was already going. So you know what I said? Hey, man, attention in the dorm. Check this out. I started trying the whole dorm. I said, listen, we can fight all day, bro. I said, I don't care about none of this shit. I said, whoever took my MP, just know you a, and I said, a, a, a fuck nigga. You feel me? Like that. I said, your homeboys know you won too. Anybody that knows you took the shit know you won. You know, like I was making it to where if you listening to me, I'm trying to put an address on it as much as possible, but then again, I don't know who took it. You feel me? I said, hey, you can't even do nothing with it. You can't even sell it. There's nothing you could do because when they turn it on, it's going to say it belonged to me and only the money in my account can be put in to get the songs added. You feel me? It's different if you would have like snatched it and it had some music on it, but it was dead ass, like not even, it was like not even like activated. It was just... You turn it on, it just says, welcome, with my name on it. You feel me? So you couldn't do nothing with it. So you just took it for no reason. While we were bumping, they decided to walk by and see it on my bunk. I was a new boy inside a C-dorm at Calhoun CI. And I, you know, and they, they grabbed that bitch. You feel me? So once I started trying to put much address on it as possible, because those were fighting words. So me throwing that out there, calling him that, I know in the back of his mind when he hears it, he's a menace white boy trying me. And then when I said, even your homeboys know. Your homeboys know you a fuck nigga. Da 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 da. You feel me? Da, da. And I, I just kept rapping. I said, we could bump in this bitch all day. Nobody said nothing. You think someone said, oh yeah, I got it? No, they didn't. You know what they ended up doing? After I kept rapping, I said, and if I catch anybody with an MP that looks like my shit, now that I'm base checking, I'm yelling, like I'm letting everybody in this open bay dorm hear me. I said, now that I'm base checking and everybody can hear me and ain't nobody finna man up giving my shit back, I said, if we could bump about it right now, you feel me? Nobody responded. So I said, okay, if I see anybody with an MP that looks like it's mine, I ain't even finna give you no warning, bro. I'ma just steal you. I'ma come up to you and I'ma just gonna rock you, bro. Because here I'm giving you the, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know who it is. So I can't stick up for my shit being missing when I don't know who took my shit. You feel me? So I'm trying to let them know as much as possible, like, by trying to single them out. By trying to make them want to whoop me, you feel me? By calling them all types of different names. And I said, I catch you on an MP that look like mine. I'm not even finna tell you to tighten up, get there, none of that, bro. Just be ready, but I'm gonna hit your ass so hard. You feel me? And next thing you know, I went to take a shower. I went to take a shower. I told this part before in the video back in the day too. While I was in the shower, you know, washing off. No one else was in the shower but Gator, the one I just fought. He's a couple, you know, faucets down. Shower heads down and he's like this, I'm like this. We getting soap in our eyes watching each other because we weren't sure if the fade was really over with. As soon as I come back into the quad, boom, I go to my bunk, you know, after I'm drying off and everything, right there on my bunk was my MP. You see? They put my MP back on my bunk because at the end of the day, they weren't finna man up and say who it was. They homeboys was probably in their ear looking at them like, damn, bro, look at that white boy just called you, bro. You let that white boy try you. But... Nobody else in the dorm said anything about me base checking, you know, and here I had just got put in this this dorm, you know what I'm saying? So like you would have thought that people would have felt some type of way and stood up, but you know what they did? They respected the fact that not only did I just fight, but here I fought and I knew the person I was fighting. But now I'm base checking and trying whoever took my shit. So I'm letting them know I don't give a damn if you're tall, small, short, fat, purple, green, red, blue, orange, black, yellow. I don't care about none of that shit. We can fight in this bitch all day if you want to. You feel me? And by me doing that, they respected it. So everyone else in the dorm was more respected and more shocked that a white boy was base checking the dorm like this and willing to grid whoever to where they just gave me the MP back. And that same MP is the same MP that I got on the streets to this day that I came home with. You know, I've never had a problem with it throughout my whole bid other than the first day I got it. You feel me? But 
that showed people like, okay, he gonna bump. He's about that. Win, lose, or draw, he gonna get there. I'm from Broward County, bro. All we know is hands. You feel me? If we lose, we lose. You feel me? But when I base check the dorm, you know, I was on my P's and Q's. You know, I was I was ready for whatever because I know I'm new here. You know, I'm foreign to them. I'm not used to this dorm. I'm not even used to this prison yet. You know, it isn't like I've been at this camp and was just in different quads and then landed here. This was my first time landing on a in a main dorm. You know, I just got out of orientation dorm. You feel me? I was in A dorm at first for like three weeks until they gave me my job. And then they put me in C dorm, which was the kitchen. You feel me? And this all went down. So I was new to them. You know, and in my mind, me being new to prison, I'm not finna let nobody try me. I'm not gonna let nobody play with me. You know what I'm saying? So I had to base check. If I didn't base check, they would have never gave me the MP back. You see what I'm saying? Now, base checking can always be, it can lead to more problems than if you would have just went and hollered at people low key. You know what I'm saying? But you can't expect everybody to tell you the truth. So when you go to holler at somebody low key, like, hey, bro, you seen anybody, you know, take something off my bunk? Or you seen anybody that, you know, go near my bunk that, that ain't normally over there or nothing like that? You look like you really don't want the problems to the person who took your shit. If they see you asking people, they're going to be able to tell that you, you literally didn't want no problems. You know what I'm saying? Or else you would have you would have brought it out to the light. You would have brought it to attention like your ass is on a stage. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's respected, sometimes it ain't when you base check. You feel me? And me being unaffiliated, it kind of would make it more worse. But I had respect because I was sticking up for myself. I'm not in a gang. I don't have numbers. I don't have brothers. I don't have nobody else that's going through this bullshit with me other than myself. You feel me? I actually fought a white boy at Calhoun inside a G-Dorm because he base checked. He was a white boy from Bavar County, and he, he went to base checking and shit about someone putting a canteen list on his bed. You feel me? And I got involved for no reason. And what it was is we had just came back in from wreck, and when we came back in from wreck, he was walking around, you know what I'm saying, pacing and shit like that, and I had my MP on. Next thing you know, I see him going like this, talking all crazy, so then I, I take the MP off. So I hear him, he's base checking everything. Da 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 da. This, that, this, that, boy, whoever wanted, bro, you got me fucked up. Ba 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 ba. So now I'm like, damn, he talking crazy. So I look over at one of my dogs, you feel me, who's actually locked up right now for a, uh, a body, you feel me? He called a murder, you feel me? He's facing a murder right now. He came home and called a body. He's locked, he, uh, I look over at him, he's affiliated, you feel me? So when I look over at him, he's a Zoe. Him and like, 12 of his brothers are all coming together and they're talking about, oh, they finna whoop him and all this different shit. So when I look over, my dog was like, and I go up to him, I'm like, man, what's up with bro? And he was like, oh, what's up? I said, I'll bust him for you. They said, oh, you, you finna whoop him? I said, yeah, I'll whoop him. I spared him by me fighting him. Believe it or not, because they were finna wet him. They said, we finna jump on him. We gonna get him up out of here. And what it was is, by me saying I'm going to take the fade, they all wanted to sit back and watch two white boys fight. That's what it was, you know what I'm saying? And one of them, who didn't really like me or respect me for who I was and nothing like that, he just used to be like, man, you know, he done beat a couple people up, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you feel me? He ain't finna whoop Bavard. We done seen Bavard paint shit. He done been whooping people. So next thing you know, I said, what's up, bro? You got pressure? He's like, oh, you? You you the one that wants it? You feel me? And I said, man, I'll beat you up real quick. Let's get to the wall. And we start bumping, you feel me? And I told this story. You know, back in the day as well, I split his shit right above his eye and all this different shit. I've told this before, so I'm not going to get that far in the detail, you know. But by him base checking, that's what led to this, you feel me? And at the end of the day, I busted him on the house because he was snapping over a canteen list that someone put on his bed, right? What it was is he owed the Zoes money. So the Zoes gave him a list to go get from the canteen window so he could pay his debt. And... He ended up, you know, losing that list. So he asked them to make another list. They just gave him another list. When they gave him the other list, he went out to the canteen window. He collected the money he owed them and he brought it back to the dorm. When he brought it back to the dorm, he ended up making his bed, putting his bed together and shit and ended up finding the original list that he lost. So since he just gave the Zoes this canteen, he felt like somebody thought he was sweet and was trying to play with him and, and try him that they walk by and put a list on his bed like, okay, now you go get me this. Since you got them that, I want this. And so he was base checking the dorm and shit over the list that he originally lost. You feel me? But if I did not fight him, they were finna whoop him. They were gonna jump on him, wet him up, and get his ass from out of that dorm. 
you know, and then me and him used to walk by each other, mug each other all the time. You know, we never really, you know, was cool with each other because I know I, I, I could bust some shit and he was known for busting some shit in there too. You feel me? So we never really said none. So the fight was like animosity that he must have had towards me anyways. And then after I, we bumped and shit like that, I told the story before. If you've been here a while, you remember. This is the one where when we were fighting, like he tried to throw a kick. And I like brushed it to with my knee. It like went sideways to my knee and he walked dead into my left hit. And then we started fighting. And when they pulled me off of him, that boy was dazed. So when they pulled me off of him, he was facing the wall now and he was fighting the wall. He was dead ass like they yanked me off of him and brought me like two bunks away from the wall. And he was fighting and hitting the wall. He thought it was me he was hitting, but he was hitting the wall. That's how I know he was dazed. And they all ran up and grabbed him and he was still swinging and shit. Like he was, he was... He wasn't there. He was just trying to defend himself. That one hit that he ran into when we first, like, collided. That one hit. And then from the people on the outside, they told me that they could see it was split as soon as it happened. They, they just noticed it. You feel me? You know, that's, I told this a long time ago, though. But that all happened because he base checked. You see? So I'm trying to give y'all examples of base check situations. You feel me? Gave y'all the one where I had to base check over my MP. No one wanted to fight. And then the one where I got in a fight because someone did base check, you see? And as far as when you're in a gang and you base check, you'll see that all the time in prison. You'll see people talking out loud, rah, 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 that are in gangs and shit like that because they're going to have their brothers. They have numbers. They have people that are going to back them. No other gang is going to stand up and say some shit. If they do, then you'll see a problem between the two gangs now. Either they're going to respect it and let it die down between the two people just bumping or it's going to be something, you know. Or if they do get in a fight, say a damn blood and a crip end up getting a fight because one of them base checked. Next thing you know, the bloods and the crips are going to come together, they're going to act like something's going to go down and then it's going to be squashed. You feel me? But if a unaffiliated person like myself were to base check, if I don't know these people or if they don't know me or respect me like that, they may feel like I'm talking about them. They may feel like what I'm saying is directed at them. Or they might just not like the fact that, oh, white boy thinks he's hard by base checking. So I'm going to get I'm gonna get involved and I'm going to say something. I'm going to see if he picks faces. Because it's all about dominance in prison. People always want to feel like they're an alpha male and there's someone bigger and badder that wants to feel bigger and badder than them. You got people that know how to fight that'll whoop 15, 20 people a month with no problem. And then you'll have other people that want to fight that person because he's whooped people. And it ain't even got to be people that they know. It could just be like, I know he's bumping. People keep telling me he's bumping. So I want to whoop him because I know I'm bumping better. That's how it goes in prison. And when you base check, you can put yourself in harm's way. Especially if you ain't in no gang. You get what I'm saying? Gang members get away with it more, like I said, because they got people that are going to ride with them when the shit hits the fan. You feel me? But if you're someone that isn't affiliated and you just land inside of a dorm and you decide to talk all crazy and attention in the dorm, man, check this out. I don't give a damn who you is, what you bang, none of that shit, bro. I don't care, bro. Check this out. Bitch, I'm missing my gym shorts. Whoever went to the damn shower last, you took my gym shorts, boy. I hope you'll puss that and you just start selling out and stuff like that. I'm telling you, boy, you're going to get what you're looking for. And it might not even be from the person who took the gym shorts. It might be from someone else who just don't like that you're talking crazy. Like I said before, prison, no matter what it is you're looking for that day, you can get it. If you want to fight, there's somebody there that day that will fight you. If you want to get beat up, there's somebody up there that will beat you up. You want to beat somebody up, there's somebody you can beat up. You know what I'm saying? You want to get stabbed, there's someone there that will stab you. You want to stab someone, there's someone you can stab. You want to wake up and mess with boys, there's boys in there you can mess with. You know, like, it don't matter what it is. You will find what you are looking for in prison. Straight up. So, your ass better be truly about that life. If you base checking and you ain't affiliated, you better have some type of respect or you better just be just straight up crazy and not giving a damn and feel like a pain freak like I am when I get mad. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn who's in the dorm with me or not. Straight up. I see red and that shit all blurs out. I don't care about none of that shit. I'll be like, damn, that boy hit me hard, you know, two, three days later, boy. But I don't feel none of that. When when I'm, when I, when, when frog cranks, I crank, you feel me? So at the end of the day, I'm not really worried about who's with what gang, who does what, who's going to feel some type of way. Because I'm going to look at it like you feel some type of way because you must be the one. 
That's how I look at it. If I'm missing something and I stand up and say attention in the dorm and start base checking and then you get involved and start saying some shit, now I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be all nervous or worried or scared that I'm getting involved with you because my mind is like, bang, he finally came forward. This is what I had to do to get him to say, yeah, I'm the one that took your shit. Or yeah, bro, it was me because you want to be standing up if you wasn't. That's how I'm going to look at it. So now... Me and you bump and we get into it. You're fighting me because I base checked. I'm fighting you because you said something about me base checking. And I feel like you're the one that took my shit or whatever's missing or why I'm base checking. You know, and then next thing you know, I find out it wasn't even you after we fought. That was just a little hill in the way on the way of me doing my goal or whatever the hell my mission was. You were just a little fucking a little lump in the path of me trying to complete my mission. What I'm what, what I'm going through right now. You feel me? And then I'll still be right back at it. You know, I'll still be like, man, yeah, check this out, buddy. See, that shit ain't nothing. We could do this all day. You feel me? Like I said, bro, if you the one that took my such and such, boy, I catch you, boy, I'm letting you know. And a lot of times when they see you just fought somebody that had nothing to do with it, that stood up and said that, oh, boy, da, 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 tried to correct me and, or, or confront me about base checking. Now that I fought this dude and they see that, they go definitely not going to say nothing now because like, he just fought somebody and didn't give a damn. You see what I'm saying? But the wrong place around the wrong people can be dangerous and deadly when it comes to base checking. Straight up. You got some people that are going to just want to get you up out the dorm, like my dog and his brothers wanted to do to that white boy that I fought at Calhoun CI. You feel me? But anyways, y'all, if you've been locked up before and you've seen something happen to somebody that used to base check, or if you had to base check yourself, drop it in the comment section. I want to read it. Y'all already know I'm, I'm into this type of shit. You feel me? Don't be shy. Drop your opinion. Drop your opinion of what you would do if someone base checked. Would you feel like it was addressed to you? Even if you had nothing to do with it. Okay? Before I wrap it up, I'm going to let you know one of the common things that make people get into fights when someone base checks inside of prison through the experience. And you want to know what that is? When someone would get in, like, into something from a different race and they'd be like, oh, I don't care about none of you crackers. Any one of you crackers can get, you know, because he's feeling some type of way about one white person. So when he's feeling some type of way about one white person and he starts saying, any one of you crackers can get it. You know, that right there is like a direct towards any white person in the dorm. Right or wrong. Right? Exactly. So here goes me. The one person who's actually down the fight and, you know, I, I don't really care about the cracker word, you know what I'm saying? But when you address it like that, you know, and I am white, you know, I'm got to be the one that says something. And then here I go get myself in a fade. And a lot of times they be like, bro, I, you know, I ain't even talking about you for all that. Da, 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 da. I say, yeah, but at the same time, bro, I look just as pie as these other ones that ain't saying shit. You feel me? So I got to say something. I want to know all. I want you to be like, hey, all you crackers except for frog. That's, you know what I'm saying? Because there's only four or five of us in the dorm as there is anyways. So it's like, what, I'm just going to sit back and let you diss me low-key as well, whether you didn't meant to or not? You feel me? That's one of the main things that get people into fights when a base check breaks out down here in the state of Florida. Because, like I said, that word don't affect me at all. You know what I'm saying? Someone could be like, oh, all these crackers in here, da 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 and I won't care nothing about it. He ain't talking about me. You feel me? But when they go, oh, you pussy-ass crackers, all you crackers in here, you know, like that. At the end of the day, I'm white. You know, and then I get myself in the shit by sticking up. But, you know, I don't care about all the other ones. They ain't fighting for themselves. I'm nobody's war daddy. You feel me? But I am going to stick up when I feel like it's directed, whether it's meant to be at me or not. You feel me? And that's one of the common things. I used to find myself in some shit in prison. Because when they would address it like that, it was like they were saying it as a whole, as all of us in here. You get what I'm saying? And I, here I go. Even though I might know them, I still got to be the one to say something. You see what I'm saying? But anyways, like I said, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that comment section. Let me know what y'all think. You know, don't be shy. Drop that shit. You feel me? I appreciate y'all watching. Like I always said, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button on the way out. If you ain't hit it on the way in. And keep them rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clowns, people with fake pullouts, clout chasers out your circle. Until next time, just the one and only, y'all. Y'all already know I fuck with y'all. Frog.